I made a video a few days ago about um, how I see the planet going right now and what I see happening from a psychic perspective. Um, a lot of us are aware that the news media isn't really news, it's propaganda to brainwash or create a perceptual blanket over a higher truth so that you believe something that um, typically will generate fear or lower vibratory frequencies within your system. Um, so a woman messaged me and asked a question, how can we reconnect to source or channel that higher power that all of us are divinely blessed with having? How can we reconnect to that all-knowing source so that instead of going to Google to fact check or soothe worries or fears about what's happening in the world today, you can start to just really sit, go inward, feel the higher truth. You can ask yourself a question, is this really real or is someone trying to manipulate me right now? And then you can close your eyes and go internal, check in with that higher source realm and have your answer come from that place. That's currently the safest, highest vibratory thing that you could do right now to navigate the current unfolding of the Great Awakening on planet Earth. So um, there's so many resources available right now and the whole alchemical platform of why this is all happening is to give us all an opportunity to really 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 embody our sovereignty so when you feel jolts of fear or mistrust know that you're just happening to be vibrating at a frequency that resonates with that but you can very easily close your eyes go internal and reconnect with the powerful source that carries vibrations of love and faith which feel very blissful and soothing to rest in okay so um, I do starseed coaching where I create a six week container for me and a client and we basically go through <clears throat> how to really get them connected to that source source. Also how to enhance their psychic powers. So what I'm going to share with you today I feel like is the foundation for what I do with people and I'm so grateful that this goddess Sylvie initiated this whole thing. Just feels really blessed that someone called for this because I'm happy to share whatever it's called for. So our, there's multiple happenings all the time. If we can expand our perceptual awareness to know and feel all these different layers that's going on from connected to that truth of source where we don't care what other people's opinions are because we know what's true and we know what's really unfolding, not just for ourselves, but for the entire planet. Um, it takes a commitment. It takes a level of commitment for you to want to stand in your own sovereignty because it takes discipline and it takes practice and it's not just this airy fairy thing that you practice once and if it doesn't happen you get pissed and you try something else and say that was fake. Like what Amazon did to our collective consciousness is make people think that if it doesn't happen for you in one or two days it's bad or wrong. And that is just simply not the reason why we're here. When we are in angelic vibratory form outside of human bodies, we can manifest anything in an instant. It's easy. This is a skill set that we came here to learn to enjoy the journey of transformation that it takes to remember these things. But it's not about the end goal when you want to reconnect to your sovereignty. It's about every second of every day that you can remember of reclaiming that light and making that your spiritual commitment. And when you have free time, do research. Research ancient origins, research language, research subconscious programming. Research the power of symbols, all of these things. You start researching the occult, the Gnostics, the Knights of the Templar, origins of us as humans on this planet, your mind will be so blown. So a great starting point for people is the streaming platform, <clears throat> excuse me, called Gaia TV. I think it's Gaia.com or you'll find it. It's Gaia. Um, 
it's like Netflix, but vibrationally upgraded. Netflix is a wormhole of subconscious programming crap that's gonna give you a higher mountain to overcome if you wanna become sovereign and free and live in a psychic realm where you can see everything and you're not questioning anything anymore. When you start seeing everything as it is, and I don't even think I'm there yet, I think I'm experiencing it to whatever capacity I'm at, but I know it's not gonna end there. I know that my whole journey is always gonna be ever expanding. So I don't have any expectations of what I should be knowing or feeling or skill setting. I'm just enjoying the unfolding of it. And when a pattern arises in me that aligns or awakens fear or trauma or whatever, I face it head on. I love the emotions, I never resist them. I expand through alchemizing them back through my system and transmuting it back to light. All emotions are created equal. I've had my greatest transformations in the depths of despair and pain. The most abundant, coolest transformations ever. So they're all epic. And I'm sharing all of this because there is an evilness to this world that came from gods long, long ago that wanted to control a human population. And they didn't want us to know how powerful we are. They didn't want us to know we could reprogram and activate our DNA. They didn't want us to know that with one single tone word to express to another being, we could miraculously heal them, that we could teleport, that we could go to these other planets because then they couldn't use us as slaves, right? So this whole process is really about recognizing where those programs are outside of your systems right now because they're everywhere. They're in media, they're in clothing brand symbolism, they're everywhere. And if you know what each symbol does to your subconscious and then creates a pattern that turns into how you live, feel, and operate, you can start to take back that control that's actually embedded in your DNA. And as you take back that control, different aspects of your DNA will begin to remember the amount of power and light that they innately hold within them. So I am always, watching, reading. I'm on a constant quest of discovery because I have committed myself to discovering full sovereignty, to entering into a state of, that's my goal, right? Where can I get to Samadhi? Can I remember my ascended master status? Can I live in that vibration fully while I'm in human form? That's my goal. So everything else that I do outside of that goal is to, is to get closer and closer there. And I don't have a time frame for myself. I'm just enjoying that trajectory. To me, that's the foundation to really reconnect to your source and to really step into your sovereignty where your psychic power has become very abundant. You make that commitment and every day you take an action step and you realize this isn't an Amazon spiritual awakening. This is a process. And the more that you have faith in source, Sophia, goddess, of all that birthed everything, the more she's gonna hold you in this sensation of like, I actually, d whatever's happening externally is a, a movie projected by this incredible all-knowing source that's taking me through my greatest awakening. So I'm witnessing and um, that doesn't mean I don't have bad, intense, crying, crazy, tired days. Of course I do, I have the whole rainbow happens to me. Um, but I enjoy it. I don't have a preference and that's very liberating. Knowledge is very powerful. Researching symbolism and occult is very powerful. These are all light lines that open up within you that give you larger channels to reconnect to the source in these sacred realms. There are daily meditations and I have a, um, I have a guided meditation that I channeled called um, your star mother meditation. And I'll put that link below so people can go watch that. But that's like a 10 or 11 minute guided meditation that brings you back into that golden light of nectar that you are. And when you're vibrating, when you're focusing on source, when you're focusing on the Sophia energy, when you're focusing on all that is, highest vibratory knowing known to man, you begin to remember what it's like to be in that vibration. Whatever you focus on and whatever you study, you start to entrain with, you start to become. We're all energy. We're all harmonic vibratory frequencies. We're not solid as it may appear. 
with the human eyes at all. So my suggestion to really connect in a deep way with your higher source and all of these other special powers that are inside of you awaiting their remembrance is I share what I do for myself. I wake up and I sit and I'm, I'm studying with Kaya Ra right now. Her channeled book, The Sophia Code, has totally changed my life. I, um, when I read different chapters, I can see the parts of my DNA that are being totally illuminated through this wisdom that comes through my crown. It's a living transmission book. I'm obsessed with her jewelry. It's all living codexes that bring about great change and great powers that are all already up in here and all already up in you. So I wake up and I close my eyes and I do her white light sovereignty meditation where you, you um, and listen to her YouTube channel. She'll go into more of this stuff and it'll activate you as well. It's a white light that you surround yourself with and surrounding that white light are ascended masters and archangels and that allows all of your own energy, all of your own beautiful, perfect, powerful, source filled energy to be all yours, to come back to you, to be in your own space and then have that embodiment, vibrate at that embodiment, walk through the day in that embodiment, remember it. Remember that white light circle as you go through the day. Give yourself time alone in nature, away from electronics to hit the reset button, sit on the earth, ground, breathe. All of these natural circumstances around you, meaning like nature, trees, plants, animals. Animals are the one of my favorite portals to dive into source energy, but allow that spark of all-knowing beauty that talks to you from deep inside. Some people call it intuition, but it'll give you like a, hey, what a cool idea. It's the first thing that'll come to your mind before maybe the ego or some other parts of trauma start talking you out of doing it. But whatever is throwing up those gems of curiosity or those sparks of creativity, something that you feel like you're being drawn to something, follow it. That's source talking to you. That's your higher source talking to you. Commit to always following that regardless of the circumstances. Be an outlaw to mainstream society. Mainstream society has built boxes for you to stand inside of so that these powers can't become activated. You will have to outlaw your life. Say no to certain circumstances. If th that little voice inside says, oh, I'm shrinking, you better walk away. This is the level of commitment I'm talking about to access all these higher realms. So you walk away. You say, this is more powerful than whatever this is, and I trust in source to carry me to a better place now. Why? Because I made a sovereign decision. That's my divine right. And we start walking through the world with that type of, I mean, what I picture for myself is, and I'm a cowgirl anyway, I live on a horse ranch. I'm outside feeding and cleaning up poop. We all live with guns, we all have our own ammunition. There's a guy down the street that <laughs> will get you what you need. And um, there's a bit of a spiritual gruffness because everyone goes to church and everyone's connected to God and it's not a judgmental God. It's I am my own sovereign badass. Don't fuck with me. And I believe in truth. I believe in honesty. And when you have that level of faith with source, something very magical happens. And those moments of anxiety or fear they start to simmer down and it just happens naturally you don't have to force it so that is my share around sovereignty and I could say so much more about it but I feel like um, it's a great foundation and if anyone has any more questions or wants a different type of video or a more specific download totally here for that so just make a request blessings enjoy the current Starseed roller coaster.